guys we are continuing the series bringing out the kinship from your mind especially I, I, I keep saying this if women are not empowered to know what is in their men and to be able to pull out pull out what is in their men you see they will cry in the relationship forgetting that they are contributors of what is happening in the relationship which is causing them which is making them to cry and they need to um, solve it they, they they need to solve it i keep saying that healing is self the moment you're able to discover your 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 sickness and heal yourself eventually the other partner will be healed because you 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 get to know that okay this is my issues and because you now have identified your issues you solve your issues when you solve your issues the other partner eventually we're not going to blame you because probably it's that issues which is causing um the problems in the relationship you see and today we're going to talk about um compliment him regularly uh, uh, yes women like communication they they want women women to to say good things to them to tell them we love them tell them they are beautiful tell them what they they believe they are but they, they, but they forget something they forget that when you're talking to your kin sometimes i get worried when they they decide to respect the one outside their relationship than the one with them in the relationship i get worried especially a lot of women respect their even pastors than their husbands i'm not saying when your husband is a, a bully man you you should disrespect him or respect him but the thing is don't don't believe the one outside your relationship than the relationship we are in that is why in the relationship you a woman should know your role in the relationship unless you are doing your best to to do everything possible to make your your relationship work and your your husband or your boyfriend is not really seeing it it's not really getting to know what you're trying to do for him that is a different story but if you really want to let your relationship work and to know that and to come to the understanding or the knowledge that your man is a king and you are a queen now take this information in perspective of a kingdom how does the queen relate to the king how does the queen relate to the king so when able to identify um, how a queen relates to the king then you will know how to relate with your husband or your boyfriend in the relationship because it will be a clear cut for you to be a clear view for you to know that how oh, i was making a fool out of myself that's why i keep crying that's why i keep getting worried that's why i keep mess i keep beating myself up it's because myself i've not gotten to know who i really are in the relationship you see so compliment him all the time compliment him all the time you want that to be done by your man right as a woman why are you forgotten that you have to do the same maybe your man your man started earlier and he did not take note of it maybe he did not but let's say and treat him like a king and see what is going to happen let's say today 
is the is the begin of a new era in your relationship complimenting him all the time let's let's there's a lot of information out there that that is good for hearing and reading so some of us when you see this good information we try to let our viewers also have this information so that they can share and it's very important now let me read something to you tell your man how much he means to you tell him how much he means to you as often as you can don't only be expecting that he's supposed to talk to you he's supposed to come to you and discuss and have no don't expect only him because that's most of you women are you're expecting him to be talking to you so therefore you you want to you want to sit down like you want to be yourself my husband is not a communicator type he doesn't talk to me but what are you doing about it are you, are you also not going to talk to him sit there somebody will start talking to him look at something it is the least you can do as his woman please take advantage of the slightest opportunity to let him know how much you care for him and how much you has he has impacted your life That's what it is. You need to do that. Let him know because he is a king. I keep telling you that he is a king. And as a king, what do you need to do to relate with him? You need to know. You don't just relate to your, your king anyhow. is with a higher respect now look at something continuously doing so builds up his self-esteem that's why he's a kid and reinforces many positive attributes about him the, the more you do that this is what you are doing to him you are bringing out what is in him you are bringing out the energy. You are bringing out the force in him. You are bringing out the money. In him. You are bringing out the, the, the tiger in him. You are bringing those things in him because now he knows that he has a queen who is in the house who can put things together. You see that thing? So, you are able to identify these things and, and bring his attention on the little things that he does for you trust me you eventually gonna lose him until you realize that he is your king and you need to treat him as such now look at something when complimenting your man focus on different aspects of his life and not just one particular area additionally ensure that your compliments are sincere and that you genuinely mean them you genuinely mean them not because you have read a book not because you have listened to me not because somebody told you you you're just going to do it no you should genuinely it should come from within you are not based on the formation to go and do it. Do you know why you... Let me give you a um, um, scenario for you to identify or a clue for you to identify that if you are genuinely doing it, you know. And if you are faking it, you know. Now, the moment is going to be a point when you started doing it and there's a point that he, you are doing but he's not responding to and you get angry. It means that you are not doing it genuinely. Why must you get angry? If you know that is your responsibility. You got it. Some men most of the time don't get even angry about things that they do to their spouses or their their woman in their relationship. They don't even care. 
All they know is that it's their duty. Women, that's what we know. We know, we know that it's our duty to go out there and work hard and bring money to the house, bring food to the house. We know. So that's that's our responsibility. We know that we are doing it. So we can't get angry at it because we are genuinely doing it because it is that's our, our core responsibility to make sure that things these things are done. But if you if you want to take advantage of that and you want to do the same, and the slightest issue, you are all over. So it's about, it's a hard work. Let me tell you the truth. It's hard work. It's hard work and it's, it's a lot of controlling your emotions, your feelings to get these things done. Especially if you have not practiced, this is going to be high difficult for you from the beginning. Especially women who are um, already ending their relationship and now they have gotten to know this kind of information. You, you need to work hard. You need to work hard. I'm telling you. Ensure that your compliments are sincere and that you genuinely mean them. Also, try not to overdo it so that it doesn't lose value doesn't lose value these are things that you need to consider all the time i'm i'm telling you you need to consider all the time because relationship is causing chaos a lot of problems in this our society and some of us we don't want to sit we don't want to sit down and see family broken down, relationship going wise down there, the drain. Some of us, it, it hurt us to see those things happening. That is why we are also looking around, trying to get information so that we can spread the good news of saving marriages, saving relationships. Woman, let me tell you. You are the man in the house, I'm telling you the truth. I said, woman, let me tell you, you are the man in the house. That means if you control your emotions in the house, the house will be the, the, the best house on this land. I am telling you, if you are able to control, take charge of your responsibility, and making sure that your man feel like a king. I tell you the truth. You will be smiling every day. And and guess what? If you bring out that that energy in him, all the showering will come on you. Because who who did it? It's you. And remember, don't forget to appreciate the little things that he does for you. Yes, some will, will cause pain, but you still need to appreciate it. Maybe you're looking for this, this, but it has been given, but it's not up to what you do. I'll pause here. We will continue again. I told you we are going to, we're going to deal with 11 topics under this. I'm bringing out the cane in your mind. We're going to, we're going to do 11 topics. And this is the, the third one. The third one. Compliment him regularly. Compliment him regularly. See you on our next video. Hey, hey, don't forget. Subscribe to the channel, Eracom TV, on all social media handles. Eracom TV. Follow us. Like comment share our videos and make sure you subscribe don't forget about the notification bell click on it so that you can get notification all the time to watch our videos thank you for watching and see you on our next video bye bye